Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Geo Zane, and this is a um, little problem uh, that I wanted to add to YouTube. Uh, this is about three-way um, OR gates. Actually, it's exclusive OR gates <laughs> because I couldn't really find anything um, about them on YouTube. So I just want to talk about like a normal um, exclusive OR. So it would be like this, like if you had two inputs, right, and they go into this exclusive OR, which is an OR gate, but it's got that extra little line on it. And the truth table looks like this. So if you had A and B, um, let's do OR combos. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. All right, and our output F is going to be something like this. So uh, when they're both zero, it would just be like a normal OR gate. You would get an output of zero because neither one of A or B is one, so there's no reason for it to be one. Um, and then like a normal OR gate, uh, the if A or B is one, our output is going to be one, so that's happy. These are like the same as uh, an OR. But this is where it differs. For this last one, A or B is 1, but it's exclusive. So because not A or B, not exclusively A or B is 0, or is 1, the output is going to be 0. So that's where this is different. OK? Let me pause the video here. Okay, we're rolling. So now if we have a, a three-way exclusive OR gate, um, it's going to look like this, right? So we got the line and then we got the OR all right, to the output F, A, B, C. And the, um, the interesting thing about the truth table, so let's do the truth table, A, B, C, and output F. Okay, combos are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1. Okay, so the outputs for the exclusive or output is going to be like this. 0, because none of them are 1. 1, because we've got a C, so I'll just put that in. All right, and then 0, 1, we have a 1 here, because that would be B, that is 1. Now for this uh, 1, 1, we're going to have a 0, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. And... I'm just going to go through the truth table, make sure I get it right here. 0, and then 1, because we have A. And in this one, it's going to be 0. And in the last one, it's going to be 1. So this is where it's strange, because this one here, we learned that a three-way OR gate, well, a three-way OR gate would say normally that this was one, because if A or B or C is one, the output is going to be one. But why an exclusive OR? Why does it? Why do we get a zero? And the reason is is that this element is basically equivalent to. Let me just make sure I get this right. we are looking at A exclusive or B exclusive or C. And the way I understand this is that the first step is to look at these two, A and B, so that would be 0 and 1, right here. And in this case, 
um, A is 0, B is 1, so we're going to get an output of 1 here. Then we would take this output 1 and look at how it matches up with C. And because in this instance C is 1, we're going to have 1 exclusive OR with 1, which because we're dealing with exclusive ORs, remember the last line on the two-way truth table? If we had 1 and 1, it was not 1 because it's exclusive. So in this case, it's going to be 0. So you're always knocking it back down to basically a two, um, looking at two numbers. Okay, so that's why this one is zero. Let me pause the video and I'll go back and do the other, the other lines. All right, so let's look at this line here. Because normally we would think that a or B or C is 1, we're going to get an output of 1, but the truth table has a 0 here. So let's take a look at this. So like we said before, we're going to have A exclusive OR with B exclusive OR with C. Whoops, sorry about that. Exclusive OR with C. And like I did before, so we're going to look at these two first. So we have 1 and 0 we're going to get an output of 1, okay, and the way we, the next step would be to take this and match it up with whatever C is, and in this case it's a 1, so 1 exclusive OR with 1 is 0, and that's what we got here. So these are the weird cases and we're going to keep going on that last line because you remember when uh, one on the last line here, this is also strange, um, you would think that it would be a zero because in a, in a two, um, let me just get rid of this stuff. In the two way, uh, exclusive OR gate, when it was 1 and 1, we got 0 because only A or B had to be 1 in order for the output to be 1. So why in a three-way do we get a 1? Because you'd think that if they're all 1s, then that's not a case that would work for exclusive OR and it would be 0. But we have to go back and look at it sequentially. So in this case, so let me get rid of this, this line here. So in the last case, it's going to be A exclusive OR with B exclusive OR with C. Okay, so we have 1 and 1, and that's going to be a 0, and then 0, and this is a 1, and the output then is 1. So that's kind of weird, but that's kind of the way you got to break it down. And if you had, you know, uh, four um, inputs on an exclusive OR, I mean, you're going to have to sort of sit down and like um, break it down into that, uh, break it down one by one sequentially down the, down the variables. But there is a rule, and the rule is that f equals 1 if and only if um, there an odd number of the inputs equals 1 if odd number of inputs equals 1 so let's see if that rule applies. So in this first case, uh, C, we have uh, just an odd number. That's just one. This is an odd number. So we got that works. In this case, we have two. That's even. And uh, this is odd. 
and this is even, and uh, this is odd. So um, it's just an important step. Basically, if you're doing a three-way exclusive OR gate, um, you just have to be really careful with how you draw out your truth table. And um, you can either do it two ways. You can, you can break it down by doing a sequential look at each one of the um, taking A exclusive OR with B and getting the output on that line and then exclusive ORing that output with um, C to get your truth. Or you can remember this thing that if it's, if you have an odd number of inputs equaling one, your output is going to be one. And um, that's the rule. And um, we'll do another video of a three way exclusive uh, NOR gate, which uh, the rule is going to be that um, if F F will only equal 1 if you have an even number of inputs equaling 1. And that goes back to the fact that the exclusive OR and the exclusive NOR are um, complements of each other. All right, so just be careful when you're out there and you've and you got a three-way um, exclusive uh, OR. Take care.